Our research process is designed to stack the odds in our favor. We want to have the business on our side, we want to have the balance sheet on our side, we want to have valuation on our side. The Artists in U.S. Value team is benchmark agnostic. We are true absolute return value investors. As such, we do think in a general or versatile framework for our team as opposed to a sector-specific analyst structure. The mindset of a generalist is to go find the good business at an undemanding valuation with a good balance sheet. And if you're focused on your sector, you might become too focused on just the facts in that sector and not realize that there are other opportunities in better areas. Miles Davis once said, it's not the notes you play, it's the notes you don't play. If you have somebody who is strictly covering a, a sector like financials or healthcare, they may feel compelled to play those notes and put them in the portfolio when it might be time to move on and invest elsewhere. We come in every day looking for ideas by screening the market, looking for what's beaten up, just knowing through your career what a good business looks like, industries you're interested in, areas that have come out of favor for one reason or another, and then you're digging in. But the process is really whittling down your filter to a few good ideas. We tend to make decisions based upon our judgment rather than having to out-analyze other members of Wall Street. By focusing on the business and the economics thereof, we tend to be able to out-judge the business and the characteristics and the quality of it rather than seeking the incremental information edge that many investors do on Wall Street. When we talk about focusing on out-judging rather than out-analyzing investors, it's because it's not about how much information you have. It's about how well you use the information and how well you've thought about the information that you've collected. Our team has custom design screens. A lot of times screens can miss great investing opportunities because if you're screening on a company that's currently earning money, you might miss a normalized earnings opportunity. Oftentimes our best investments are under earning at the moment and thus will look cosmetically expensive at the initiation of the position. It always makes screening complicated. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach. We're very open to different ways of finding ideas. We use information in industry journals. We talk to other investors. We talk to company management teams and ask a question, who's one of your strongest competitors and why? We'll come about things through a variety of means, but the most significant way that we find new investment ideas is we look at what we call the daily downtrodden list. These are the stocks that are under pressure by Wall Street and investors for whatever reason, earnings, reductions, company-specific items, which is causing people to sell the stock in wholesale fashion. And we dig through those securities to try to find ones that meet our margin and safety criteria and then do the additional legwork to potentially make an investment. To be a great investor, you need to have that curiosity as an analyst. And an analyst mindset is you're inquisitive and curious and digging into investments to try to find opportunity. And that's important. We're not just focused on outcomes. We think outcomes will be taken care of because of a good process.